and the quadratic function, we'll call it q of x, that has the given vertex and passes through the given point. Okay, well, we know that vertex form of a quadratic is a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, where the vertex is h and k. So most of my function can be found by just plugging those numbers in. x minus negative 2 squared plus 4. Of course, take care of those signs. Minus a negative means plus. So my function will start off as a x plus 2 squared plus 4. Okay, now to find a, let's use the point that's given to us. If I plug negative 1 into my function, it has to equal 1 half. So let me plug negative 1 into my function and set it equal to 1 half. Well, negative 1 plus 1, I'm sorry, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and 1 squared is just 1. So that's a times 1 plus 4 equals 1 half. <clears throat> Subtract 4 from both sides. And I'll do this off to the side here, or right here. 1 half minus 4, or 4 over 1. Let's find a common denominator, which would be 8 over 2. And if I subtract 1 half minus 8 over 2, I have negative 7 over 2. So there's my quadratic function, negative 7 over 2, x plus 2, squared plus 4.